Talk about what's happening here because it's what the windiest day we've had in yeah, like quite a more a while. than a year. Yeah, right? more than a year here in Portland. Yeah, overnight um, too. Yeah, the, I feel like it, I was woken pretty up. Pretty windy by during it. the night. Yeah, started it, pick, it picked up during the night. Yeah. So um, interesting. So east winds breezy. By the way, it, it gets dark so quickly this time of the year, right? People complain about it. At least you're not in barrel, or technically it's Utkiyupik. I think I said it right. Uh, sunrise tomorrow. There is not a sunrise. So can you imagine living in a place where the sun will not rise tomorrow? Isn't there a song? The sun will come up tomorrow. Oh yeah, tomorrow. Annie. Um, I just know Annie. that I, I want to buy a vowel, you know, if yeah. I could. <laughs> well, there are a few there. Um, I, and I was just told Bryce, our producer, he says he knows somebody that I think you said somebody lives, a friend lives there, oh, or somebody. Oh, really? And they some people, you know, still called Barrow as well. But there's two names there. Huh. All right, so uh, it's mainly dark now until late January. Yeah, that's pretty dark. I mean, two months of dark. So, don't complain when we only get six to eight hours of sunshine here. All right, that's my. That's my feel-good story there. So next cha change, uh, we see the rain still coming in Monday. That said, on Monday, we're thinking the rain is going to be really light and maybe even come in later in the day. All right, so we still look for that change on Monday. And then uh, through the weekend, that implies nothing's changing much. That's true. We're going to continue with this sunshine, frosty nights where the wind goes calm, and that east wind. Now, the east wind, as I mentioned in the last segment, is going to back off a little bit. It's going to be more reasonable the next two days. We should see very few power outages, if any. Um, and again, strongest today. It'll weaken through Saturday, and then Sunday really disappears. I, Sunday may just be calm in most of the metro area, if not all. Now, look at the temps. Really cold east side. Cold air came down out of Canada. That gave us that extra surge of wind. Came right over the mountains instead of through the gorge, and that's why everybody got it today. But bend right now, 25, 28 in Redmond. When that cold air came south, it did cause some areas of freezing drizzle or even freezing fog, and that's why we had traffic issues in some of these mountains in north central and northeast Oregon. So probably about 20 in Madras tonight, 18 in Legrand, and west side generally in the 30s, some of us though in the upper 20s. All right, so the big pattern change, it's not going to happen this weekend. We still have strong high pressure overhead. It's blocking storms. That's why we've been unusually dry. Today is our 10th consecutive dry day. We think that high pressure weakens though through the weekend. And then we get to Monday, and look how there's this flow of air coming in from the west. That's a wet pattern for us, and sure enough, a weather system comes in uh, late Monday. A second more uh, pretty pretty wet weather system comes through Tuesday. But here's a change. We're thinking high pressure might try to bring itself back for Wednesday and Thursday. If this is the case, we could have a dry Thanksgiving. So I do not think all of next week is going to be wet. Just short term, though, lots of sunshine tomorrow. Check out the cloud forecast. Totally clear. So your forecast for tomorrow, all sunny. Starting in the 30s because the wind will keep the air stirred up. We generally don't drop to freezing with the wind. 48 in the afternoon. That's about the same as today. Easterly gusts near the gorge, 45. Most of us more like 25 to 35, though. Uh, less wind on Saturday, a little bit less wind. And then Sunday should be pretty much a calm day. Showers Monday, wet Tuesday, yeah, leftover shower Wednesday, and uh, we think Thursday could be dry as well. Notice the temperatures warm up, too. Lows coming up into the 40s. That's much milder. Yeah, look at that. All right, Mark, thank you.